Hello guys and welcome back. And today I'm going to show you how to create an interactive CBC word game using all the tools PowerPoint provide. So to start, I'm just going to show you how it works. So you can obviously have a PowerPoint slideshow and we need to create the word that the image represents. So man. So let's just click A. And if it's right, the letter will go into the box. And if it's not right, for example, E here, it will just go red and it will stay red until the word is complete. Just so it reminds the child that it's, it's not the correct sound. And then man, ma, and then mm, like that. Perfect, man. And then go to the next slide. You simply just press the arrow key and it will transition to the next one. So we've got dog here. We've got to build the word. I'll show you all like this. Very easy. Job done. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And then once you've done one slide, you simply just have to duplicate it, move the letters around and change the letters, of course, to create the new word. Okay, guys, to get started, we simply just have to create a rectangle. That's like a little border. So insert and then shapes and then click on the rectangle tool. And then we're going to create it so it kind of fills up the main page like that. Then we're going to click on shape format at the top. Go down to the little arrow, make it with a black border, which is transparent here. Click it once then shape outline, weight, go all the way down to six points like that. Then we're just going to make sure it's aligned correctly in the middle of the page. So we go to shape format again, come right across to hit align, then align center and then align middle. That way it's perfectly in the middle and the center. Now it's time to create all the little templates that make up the slide itself. So we we'll first need a, a rectangle again, go to insert shapes and then rectangle to, to place all the letters that we're going to be using. So move it like that. Again, we're going to click on it, shape format, click down this little arrow here. We go down to the same one here like that. Shape outline, weight, six points. Okay. Then we're going to click it once, hold down control and click D. That means we're going to duplicate that object. We're going to bring it down like that and we're just going to bring it in like that. Then we're just going to press control D. We're going to line it up next to it Then control D as well. Yeah, again. Now we're just simply just going to move them in so it fits perfectly with the rest of it like that. Little guidelines there, as you can see, the little red ones mean it's in the center. Now we're just going to create the words we need. So insert, text box, I'm just going to create one like that. And now I'm going to go up here where it says text align. We're going to make sure the text sits in the middle and we're going to click on to center here. And this one's going to be C, V, C words. Um, I'm going to use control A to highlight all the text. I'm going to use um, century gothic, I think. And then shape format. Click on the downward arrow here. And I'm going to click on to the top one color field, black, dark one. It's going to bring it in a little bit. Simply just going to pop it in the corner like that. It kind of blends in with the rectangle. Now I'm just going to click it once, press Control D. Again, that means I'm going to duplicate that image. I'm going to drag it all the way over here like that. This one here is going to be um, scrambled word. I'm just going to take the edge here, just drag it so it all fits in like that. I'm going to use the guidelines here just to make sure it fits right in the middle. One last thing to do is just duplicate this once more. Control D. And drag it all the way under. So that way it kind of sits just below here. And we're going to call it build the word. Drag it on the side like that. Ooh, too much. One more. Perfect. Now we're going to insert an arrow to show us where the image is in representation to the letters. So insert, shapes, and we're gonna go down to block arrows. I'm gonna click onto this one, arrow right. And we're gonna have it so it's in line with here like that. I'm gonna drag it, that's probably great there. Then we're gonna to go to shape fill and black. Perfect. So now it's time to insert an image and insert the letters that we're gonna be using. So to get an image, you go to insert, Pictures, online pictures, uh, we could use cartoon, man, uh, transparent. Um, that just means there isn't a background behind the image. 
that normally just helps when it comes to like moving them around. Uh, this feather here, I know for a fact, is transparent. Perfect. So we're going to drag the corner so it's in the middle there. Maybe a little bit bigger. That's fine. Perfect. Now we're going to put some text into this clear rectangle here. So insert text box. I'm going to go do one, and I'll show you why in a minute. I'm going to go to align middle and then center. And this one here is going to be in Comic Sans. So type in Comic Sans if you haven't got it already. And then A, I'm going to make this a lot bigger. Perfect, about 60 is fine. I'm going to change the color to blue. Do this all now because then you just have to duplicate it. It's much easier like that. Now I'm going to click on the object and press Control D. Drag it over. It's all nice and lined up. Doesn't have to be perfect. And the great thing is if you press Control D again, it's just going to fall straight into place like that. And you might notice it's not all exactly in line, but you can just correct it. Just to spend a little time just moving them around like this. Perfect. Oh, it's a little bit higher there. Ooh. That'll do. Now, of course, we just need to change it. Maybe an E there, an M there, an N, and an I. Excellent. Now it's starting with a slightly trickier part, and that's just to transition the correct letters into the boxes and, of course, put some animation onto the ones that aren't correct. So, for me first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Home, then Select, then Select Pane. And this includes all the objects that have been used on this slide. So when you click down, as you can see, it highlights the object that it is. So what I'm going to do, if you just right click it, double click it a couple of times. This is N. I'm simply just going to put N in there. Double click it a couple of times. This is I. Make sure we're doing this. Of course, if it isn't the letter I, do whatever letter it is for you. Um, this just makes the animation part later on much easier. So do try and do it if you can. And A. Excellent. Right, I can just click close on that one, guys. Now, what we want to happen is if with the animation is not when the anything on the screen is clicked, something changes. We only want something to change when an object is clicked. So, for example, we want that E to turn red when only that E is clicked. So, to do that, we need to do a couple of things. We need to go to um, Slideshow. And we need to ensure that when um, that no other click transitions anything else. That's really important. Oh, sorry, it's transitions. I do apologize. So, transitions. And here at the moment, that means if we clicked on the mouse at all, Anywhere else, it's going to actually move the slide to the next one, and we don't want that. So you need to go to Transitions, right over to the corner, and click Off. So there's no tick here, like that. So that's one job. The second job is to make sure when you click the wrong letters that they turn red. So to do that, we need to go to Animations. We're going to click on the wrong letters, like E, for example. Click on this downward arrow, and we're going to go to Brush Color, and we're going to change that color to red, like that. Now, we want it so only when the E is clicked, it turns red. So keeping that open, go to Trigger, on click of, and then E, like that. Now, M is fine, I isn't. So again, we go down to Animations. We click on the downward arrow, Brush Color, Effects Options, Red, Trigger, on click of, and then I. Now that's perfect. So if we tested it out now, if we were to click E, it will go red. If we click I, it will go red. And of course, if we clicked anything else, it wouldn't transition over. So that is one job complete. So our last job is to allow the correct letters and sounds to transition to where they should be going. So let's start with the start of the letter word, which is M. Let's click on it. We're going to go to trans animations up here, animations. Click on this downward arrow. We're going to go to lines, and that's the lines of motion. So it's moving from one point to the other. So green is where it starts, red is where it ends. And we're going to take the red orb, and we're going to move it to where it should go. So, of course, M is the start of the letter. And we're going to drop it in there. And, of course, we only want it to move when M is clicked. So we need to go to trigger, which is like the lightning bolt up here, on click of, and then M. Now, of course, we go to the next letter is A. Click it, downward arrow, lines. 
and it will go to a default setting so let it do its thing we're then going to take the red orb we're going to move it to where it should go Just plop it in the middle it doesn't have to be perfect and then go to trigger on click of and then a and the last sound is n click it once animations click the downward arrow here go down to lines and it'll for this one's quite easy it goes there we just need to realign it a little bit so click on the red orb and we're just going to straighten up a little bit like that and of course trigger on click of and then n like that click on animation pane here's a little green uh, rectangle here just to showing these two things here will flash and these three things here will transition so the only animations if you got anything else it you might have gone wrong somewhere so it's a good place to go and just double check you've got all the correct animations now it's time to try it out see how it goes okay so we click on the slideshow button right so we've got the man he's popped up cbc words scrambled word build the word perfect so maybe you could just enlarge them later on if you wanted to it's time for editing let's see if it works so a perfect go straight to what it should do e now e should stay on um red until the next slide okay which is great that means we know it's wrong so we'd have to click it again m perfect i should turn red perfect excellent and then a should transition nicely all right guys wasn't too difficult so one thing i might think about if i was going to really edit this is making these words up here a little bit larger really drag it out um, which is very easy to do um, but something to think about when you go to your next slide to duplicate this side you just simply right click it and duplicate and all you'll have to do here is change the image change the letters and change where they move to so you've done half the job once you've done at least one all right guys hope this was helpful hope this you can use it with uh, people you're working with if you do use it send a link of them doing it i want to see people actually trying this out um thank you so much for watching guys if you haven't already subscribed it really does help me out i'm nearly on a thousand subscribers so if we get there it'll be fantastic like this video guys and pop over to my facebook page we've got loads of educational resources over there which i think could be perfect for you all right guys thanks for watching i'll see you next time